Over the past 18 months, I've been exploring all things red pill, and I've come to believe that America itself has been red pilled. Most people think of taking the red pill as it's used in the Matrix movies. Take the red pill to wake up from a, the hard reality that you are a slave to a nameless, faceless system. However, I prefer the use of the red pill as I found it used in Reddit and 4chan and the Manosphere to refer to infiltrating a group and destroying it from the inside. We have all been infiltrated, inculcated with the false notion that we have a growth economy in a finite system with finite resources. We have enslaved ourselves to this idea that if we only follow a set of rules prescribed in blogs and mega churches and billion dollar self-improvement industry, we can one day be one of the people at the top whose wealth will trickle down to the rest of us listening right now. Western culture is a tragic parody of the radio and television game show Queen for a Day. We have been red-pilled into the illusion invented on this soil that people can be divided into human and non-human on the basis of a neurotransmitter in their skin. But as a black, I'm not under the illusion of ever being queen for the day. Even as I see athletes and actors and a black president receive money and celebrity and a seat at the table, as a black, I know that the whites treat their pets very well. Their dogs have jeweled collars, dentists, cancer treatment, fur coats, and seats at the family table. Pets on leashes are fed and housed better than many human beings in America. As a black, I live in an alternate reality from the rest of you. My celebrity is not my own and has never been anything I could call on to aid me in times of distress. I liken my existence to walking down Ninth Avenue and seeing some people wearing masks, following COVID protocols while others are not in masks and both of those realities coexist and both are valid and true. Some people will be saved from COVID because they wore masks and others will be saved from COVID because it is their destiny. And each of these groups cannot fathom the goings on of the people in the other. The difference is that as a black, it is assumed that I have no goings on, but the ones that are projected on me. My identity is circumscribed by the people who defined me as black so they could define themselves as white. To quote Frank Wilderson in Afro-Pessimism, the blacks existence, torture and murder is a ritualized pleasure that verifies for the white that they are in fact human because at least they are not black. The current president, I never say his name, has allowed the light to shine on the face of this America that 33% of, of the white population of Americans pretends not to see and can think of as prodigal sons and daughters. I believe that the 67% of people who voted for the current president and the 33% who did not each see one another as prodigal sons and daughters who are lost and will one day be found. Eddie Glaudy Sr. said, the only reason the enslaved Africans were freed is because the whites fell out with one another. Lord help us all if the prodigal sons and daughters make peace. This president is not done. And every time you tell yourself he is, you have taken a red pill. America is deeply divided. It is the most divided nation on the planet that can still call itself a nation. And perhaps that is America's strength. Perhaps the reconciliation of political opposites is what the age of Aquarius, the age of Horus, the new aeon is about. Perhaps we will never change our brothers' and sisters' minds, but must learn to build a world that works for everyone. But that will require that Blacks be included as a part of everyone. And that may require removing the designations of white or Black. And the acknowledgement that we are all humans with a right to what nature has given as free, clean air, water, food, land. As a Black, I appeal to you to consider and to remember that as you celebrate the new president-elect, 
that this current president is not done. And he has used the designations of black and immigrant and not white as the problem rather than facing the real problem. When I star in a show, I always want to see my understudy perform the part because I know I have tunnel vision. I'm too close, but my understudy can not only see me, they can see what I cannot see. I am understudying being human in America. And I see that most of you have been red pilled. The only problem is the belief that an infinite growth can be achieved by keeping mud sills, blacks, to quote Senator John Hammond, at the bottom. The folks at the top of this pyramid scheme have enough money to buy and sell every one of us for all the days of our lives. And I'm reminded of a joke that says, men don't pay prostitutes for sex, they pay them to leave. The kidnapped Africans were not, who were unleashed into this capitalist economy without capital, were not even paid for anything. They were not even paid to leave. Blacks are still enslaved in this country, no matter how many of us rise, until the very concept of racial identity and growth economy is abolished, no one will ever be free. The red pill will be our suicide pill.